guys and welcome back to another video so today is Tuesday so that means it is transformation Tuesday Um, this week I haven't got an image to go on just because this week the, the theme for transformation Tuesday is bridal so I thought I would just because bridal are Bridal makeup is mainly natural makeup with a bit of a sparkly eye. So what I thought I would do is I'll just do my own take on that and not look for an image. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna get on with it. First thing I'm gonna do is stick my mascara down my bra. Um, I'm gonna stick the Epic down my bra as well. And the primer just because I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna want the 4D or the epic mascara so let's take these goggles off let's get my, my mirror Ta -da. um so I'm just gonna prime my face because you guys know it's a crime not to prime so I'm just gonna do two little pumps of And then I'm just going to work it into my skin, just rub it in like so. Now I would normally um, use uh, concealer, um, but I currently don't have any of Unique's concealer for the simple reason they didn't have my shade in stock. So. I'm not going to conceal but obviously on your wedding day you're going to want to hide dark circles and you, you, you're going to want to conceal so I'm not going to be able to conceal today so oh, it's not going to be perfect sorry squeaky draw I'm sorry okay where's my other brush here but it's very mm. Guess what guys? I have a clean my brushes. Are we surprised? This is me. And I never clean my brushes. Although I have now got brush cleaner. So maybe that should be one of my aims for today. Clean the brushes. So I'm just gonna clean it with a wipe at the moment because I haven't got I haven't got the sponges not sponges the cotton pads so that is that brush cleaned so I have got two liquid eyeshadows this one is giggly and this one is to put these on I might be able to see then. This one is reverent here and this one is giggly. So I thought I'd mix the both together. Don't know what it's gonna come out like, but I thought it'd make a really nice eye look. So I'm gonna go in with giggly all over my eyelid start off with and you do not need a lot of this I'm just gonna get my fluffy crease brush and just blend it like that so you get like a you see that a really nice and I've got loads on the brush there so I'm just gonna on the brush I'm gonna then Use the other eye. Use brush that on the other eye. I'm just gonna. It just gives like a really nice shimmer. I like so. And then, oh, what I thought I would do 
is I will then go in with Reverend, which is like a dark goldy brown, and just do that. Both eyes, and then I'm gonna do. I'll use the fluffy crease brush, and then I'll use the blending brush to, to blend it out. Sorry. It's just like a really like subtle subtle like glow effect just going under the eye with the other bit of glitter So it's just like a really subtle effect. So I'm just going to add a bit more of the Giggly because it's my favourite and brush again and just a blend it out like so so I don't know if you guys can see that I don't know I don't know if you can see this don't you know I don't even know what this accent is either like I don't understand I'm sorry guys right then I'm going to Go straight in with my spray foundation. Right, so I'm going to just spray three little pumps onto my brush, and I'm just gonna. Put a hair on my face. I still hope my help this this smells like guys. I just can't work it out what it smells of. It smells of something, but I don't know what. It smells nice though. But I don't quite know what it smells of. Sorry guys, I just realised I'm holding the mirror in the camera so you can't actually see what I is doing. No, let's go down the neck. Go down the neck. I always manage to get in the start of my brows and I don't know why. And I'm not going to do my brows because my brows are messed up anyway. But obviously, if you was getting married, you would have a professional doing your eyes, your makeup. 
hopefully. Okay, so. Oh, squeaky draw, man. Let's get some WD 40 on it or something. Now I'm going to go in with my setting powder with my powder brush. I'm just going to set under my eyes. T zone. My hair would get out of the way. We have set the makeup. Right, put the lid back on that. Right, the next thing that I will apply is my blusher. Now this one is a brand new one. This one is called Sweet. I have been using the one called Stunning. And this one is Sweet. So this is just like a peachy, pinky tone. So... See, it just warms the face up. You see that, guys? Just, just like warms, gives that kind of little warmth to the face. I still want to add more eyeshadow. Obsessed with this, these colours, I just wanna just keep adding. Probably know you shouldn't. But yellow. Just add and add, add and add and add. I could end up ruining the whole look. I feel like if I pat it, I've got hair. That hair needs. And I kind of feel like these go underneath the eye. Like so. That's better, I think. I feel like you can see it a bit more. Yeah. We're going to leave it at that because otherwise I'm going to keep faffing and then I'm going to get really upset when I've ruined it. Right, I'm going to go in with my primer because you will prime your face so why not prime your lashes. So, I love this stuff. It gives you like, gives me like 90s feels. Because it gives you white lashes. Do this one. Can you guys see the white lashes? I mean, the lighting here is not great today, guys. So, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but, it's all we've got to deal with. So, I haven't. Oh, that's right. Right, so while that's setting in, right, let me just put my foundation back in the box. You're probably thinking, why did she keep all the foundations in the box? Well, because I've got two different shades of foundation, so I want to make sure I'm using the right one. Um, so I just put it in the box. This one is brand new, my lip um, splash lipstick. This is in the colour Subtle, and I thought you wouldn't want like a bold lip on your wedding day. You'd want something like subtle. So I've got this colour. 
So it's like a like a brownie pink. And obviously I'm not gonna apply it to the top lip for the simple reason I've got cold sore. So I'm gonna apply it to the bottom lip and then just sort of yeah, you'll see what I mean. So it's like a nude. A really pink nude which I think is quite nice it's quite nice it's just subtle um but it looks it then it obviously it then looks like you've got something on if that makes sense because you don't want nothing too bold and out there because you want to look like a princess okay I've decided I'm gonna use both mascaras I mean there's no rules to that so I'm just gonna apply the epic I've just scraped off the excess product so the epic mascara is amazing it literally it separates and separates and volumizes your lashes whereas the 4 day it Basically, it gives you a hell of a lot of bloody volume, and it it gives you a lot of volume, and it gives you the full slash effect, which is amazing. I haven't. I have. We'll touch up after. Now, if you're like me and you get mascara everywhere, like on your nose and above the eyes, don't worry. We'll sort that out after. So I'm going to do two coats each of the Epic and then I'm going to go in with the 4D and do two coats of the 4D. Because you, you can just build and build and build. Until you get your desired lash effect. Okay, so that was two coats each. I'm just going to use this to... brush away the mascara and I'll use this yep to get that bit of mascara gone right so let's find the 4D got the 4D out again you want to scrape off all the excess product because you do not want loads and loads of product on your on your brush for the simple reason um, this is more so this is just got epic on this has got epic and forte I don't know if you can see I don't think it's showing up very well on the camera. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So that, I don't know if you can see, oh this is so frustrating, wait I'm trying to show you something and I don't think you can see, I don't think you can see my lashes, you can literally just keep going. Okay, so. Up before I uh, get mascara everywhere because that's something else I'll do. I don't even know if you can even see this finished look, guys. I 
is it better with this camera this, this lighting on like can you, can you see the glow I don't know if you can see anyway this was my finished bridal look obviously you would do something spectacular with your hair but I've only got three hairs and a knit so I can't really do anything spectacular with my hair I have seen a girl that's got the same hairstyle as me that curls this bit like this long bit here but I don't know whether A I can do that and B that would suit me so I'm just spraying some perfume on because this is now going to be my makeup for the day I'm not getting married this is our um, our perfume it is what's it called with all that I am me um, and it's the dupe for alien um, and I thought yeah Um, I thought yeah it's not going to smell like alien whatever oh my god guys it smells of alien it is amazing it literally smells the exact same as alien I was really impressed squeaky draw sorry so yes this is my makeup look for today I hope you have enjoyed if you, if you do like it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you wonderful people in my next video bye